Tria takes it to the line. Gets a lovely ball away to Dembo. And he's over for... See, with that little dummy, just forced Rico Ioane up to cover that. To Vian Fossler, he gets it away to Lacanio Am. And Terran Tembu gets yeah, the... Yeah, to see the shot start doing it. Transferring the ball and letting the ball do... Rymac sends it. Good quick hands there. There's a little bit of space out there. Right. Terran Tembu! Good <laughs> offloads, which really created the space out wide for Terran Tembu. Well done to the shots. What a way to start the game. Hello and welcome to Free Jacks in 5, a series of brief interviews where you get to know your favorite New England players and staff. I'm Dallin Stanford, former USA Eagle and current World Rugby commentator. And in this episode, we spend five minutes, we get to know Terem Tembu from South Africa, one of the international sensations signed for 2021 in Major League Rugby. Terra, are you more dangerous than climate change? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Listen, you sound like a Marvel superhero. What's your full name and, and where did Terra come along? My full name is Lubabalo. So my mates in junior school, because I was a lot bigger than my teammates, um, one of my mates decided to call me uh, my Terra. Terra on the field and Terra in the classroom. And then the name just stuck. Your personalized kit. Have you ever had gear made just for you, like this one here? Yes, it looks awesome. No, I've never actually, it's the first for me. I think we do things a little bit differently on South Africa. So yeah, I can't wait to have my own pair, I guess. Exactly. And shipped internationally, available at freejacks.com. Give us a quick background on your family um, and just so folks can get to know you a bit better. Yeah, so I'm originally from the Eastern Cape. My parents, um, my brother and sister, all in the Eastern Cape. And I went to a school um, in King Williamstown, Dell Junior, and then moved to the college. My first love was cricket. Played cricket before, like with my brothers and my dad and my friends around the area. And I was forced to play rugby. Uh, one of my school teachers, because I was obviously had a bit of height, because we all had to play one summer, one winter sport. And I decided to play hockey because I was the closest thing to cricket. And that didn't last long. I think that career lasted three days. Um, the rugby coach said, I, fought, I thought I was going to get away with it. Two days later, he said, I'm coming to rugby child. The older I got, the better I got in the sport. I think only when I was only 18 years old, um, when I went to a tournament here in Durban called the Kersney Festival. I got scouted by the Sharks and been here since then and haven't looked back. Uh, Give me some of your, your highlights. You represented your country uh, when you were very young, World Rugby Under-20 Championship, as well as the Blitzbox 7 side. What were those two experiences like for you? Everything happened so quickly. I mean, it was, a, yeah, it was an awesome experience. Just grateful and glad that I... Everything worked out the way it did. You know, to have that kickstart to, to play SN twenties and play SA sevens, which helped me with my career here at the Sharks. South Africa produces some of the toughest forwards in the game and it's such a bruising encounter. You've lasted so long there. You've captained and played, of course, for in the Curry Cup for the Sharks and then also in Super Rugby. Do you have some moments that stand out in your career that you look fondly upon? I've only been confident to say the story now. That when I was growing up, I was a Western Province and Stormer supporter. Very, very big one. So I made my debut, my Curry Cup debut against Western Province and we made my Super Rugby debut against the Stormers. So all my mates obviously know the story behind that. That was a, definitely a highlight of mine. And we won both games, so that was pretty cool. And I think when I was captain for the first time, being the first black captain, you know, I think in my time here, when it happened, I never really thought of it, only probably now because I'm nearly towards the end and the impact it had. But yeah, I enjoyed every single moment here in Durban with the Sharks. Let's switch gears a little bit. Let's go to you on tour. Who was your worst roommate? And tell us a little story about that. <laughs> so have to excuse me for this one. Uh, Tendai the Beast in Tauria. So I've heard rumors about him um, being his roommate and I just wanted to experience it myself. We went to France and basically the lights need to be off at like seven. I can't be on my phone. I can't talk to anyone. Literally, I can't leave the room. You know, with time zones and everything, you obviously want to talk to your mates or your parents, but the lights must be off at seven with Beast because he's sleeping. I literally can't even breathe possibly because He's, he's so <laughs> sensitive and ever since then I've never ever been his roommate and I laugh at him till this day great man though <laughs> great man but uh, the worst roommate ever purely because of that well we had him in America briefly at Old Glory in Washington DC so I'm glad to say he won't be in the country when you get here so at least you'll be safe <laughs> <laughs> yeah he'll forgive me for this one <laughs> he will he will exactly well we're on the topic about America so what excites you about coming here to play in the US of A when I played SA 7s I went to the Las Vegas League and I loved it and I've always said I wanted to go back to America I never thought 
thought I'd go and play in a league. I think back in the day, there wasn't a league in 2010, 2011. And then when it kicked off, you know, it showed a lot of interest and in how much the league has grown and, and looking at the players it's attracting now. And it's growing very, very fast. And But I just wanted to be part of that journey, add value and learn and just enjoy my last chapter in America. Um, something different, just out of my comfort zone. I don't know what to expect, which I'm sure it will be tough and intense, but it's a challenge that I'm looking forward to. We can't wait to have you this side, my friend. And uh, the rugby fans can catch you in the Major League rugby season in 2021 they can keep updated at freejacks.com and listen i'm still waiting for my follow back on instagram i'm sure i followed you back <laughs> no i still i'm sure i'll, I'll do it now <laughs> thank you <laughs> as they say here in new england let's ride